Hello again, Victor here from Rescue Studio. In this video, you probably already know what we're doing because you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title of this video, and you even clicked the video. We're taking a look at the DNA Effects Git Guitar Multi Effect from Harley Benton. And I've been having this thing laying around for probably like two months, and I'm so sorry, Ben, uh, if you're watching this. Uh, thank you so much for your patience, but I think we should just take a look at it. I think we should unbox it um, So let's just get that thing out of the way. I haven't plugged it in yet. I have no idea how it sounds I have no idea about build quality um, But I guess we'll find out together throughout this video There's a user manual right here Which you probably can't see because autofocus is as always being dumb uh, not gonna be needing that. Right here we have, what do we have here? We have some cables. I think we have cables. We do have a power supply. We're gonna be needing that. Uh, and then we have a MIDI USB, I think. Yeah, a MIDI USB. USB 2, 3, 2, probably 2. USB A to, to MIDI. Should probably keep that manual, maybe, perhaps. There's a Bedienungslicht, I, I don't know, I don't speak German, but there's something right here as well. Uh, I think that's another manual, but in German. Harley Benton is a German brand after all. Okay, so this is the unit right here. Right, there we go. This way, that way. I must say it looks it looks really nice. How much is this? I have no idea how much that is. <laughs> There's a shadow on my face for, from that camera right there. Um, I have no idea how much this is. It I, the price should be on screen, um, but it feels nice. It's, I, the the pedal is even metal. The pedal is metal. So let me plug this in and uh, let's get some tones and let's see how it sounds. See, I just noticed while setting this up, there's a stereo out. Should we do stereo? We should probably do stereo, right? Let, let me get another jack cable and be right back. All right, so I have gone ahead and I have hooked up the secondary output. So we should probably get some really nice, I hope, really nice stereo effects. I have no idea how to do this. Uh, should read the manual, but I know a lot of you guys don't read the manual as well. So let's see how intuitive this thing is. On the unit, you will find, you will find a tuna button, you will find a looper button and a little arrow up and down. Uh, presumably going throughout the presets, we'll be using those two, probably. Most definitely. Uh, we have a play button, a save, expression, rhythm, tap tempo, and a system button. Then we have a, what is that? It's, it says mode, value, and master. Master's all the way up. That's probably a little bit too loud. So let's get, should we just get everything? No, that's, I, I did something. Okay, that's some preset stuff. Mode. Okay, I should, let's just play a chord and let's see how it sounds. That's loud, not at all. You can barely hear it. So first and foremost, should we just try and get to the tuner? Is that a hold down thingy? Yeah, that's a hold down thingy. Let's see how good this is. That's a funny looking tuner. Actually works pretty nice. get that master up that's the master all the way up I need some more gain over here all right so let's get some first tones out of this thing it opens up on P0018080 OD I suppose that's an 808 overdrive. So let's hear what that sounds like. Honestly, 
that sounds pretty good. Uh, it's not a tone I would dial in. I would never have such a long delay trail on there. So if I can find my way to the delay section and just get some a little less delay, let's see if we can do that. So we go to the mode. Uh, what are we going? Oh, okay. So it lights up here what you're on. So now we're at the EQ section, we're at the modulation section, and here's the delay. Now, how do I turn it up and down? Value? Yes, value. Okay, so I go to the time, press down on that, and then I can, yeah, okay. So I would have it around 400, that's like my go-to 400 milliseconds. I presume that's 400 milliseconds. There we go. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good, to be honest. Uh, something I didn't mention was my setup today, and I am just running the Fender 60s um, Road One Stratocaster into the DNA FX unit, and that is going directly into the audio interface that I have right here behind me, the Antelope Discrete 4 Synergy Core. Um, I'm gonna get some close-up on the back because I didn't even check out the back side of this unit. It really has been a while since I last did th these kind of videos. I'm forgetting all sorts of things. I also forgot to mention that there's this uh, giant expression pedal right here. Um, but we also have a USB on the back. We have a phones out, an auxiliary in. Okay, that's exciting. And then you have your nine volts 300 milliamp power supply right there. Does that mean you can have that with your regular power supply on your pedal board? Because that would be pretty amazing. Now I think I remembered everything. Something stopped. Why did it stop? That camera stopped because the memory card is full. That's annoying. I will see you guys in a second. All right, so this unit is way more complex than I initially thought when I saw it online, which is a good thing. That means you can get a lot of versatility out of it. But I think for this video, it would probably be best if we don't want to be here all night, we should just go th through some presets, uh, try the, the pedal, try the looper, and just hear what the unit actually sounds like. So how do I get back? I have no idea. Do I just... Okay, so yeah, you just dial the mode button back to this setting right here. So if I go up one, yeah, clean pass. We have preset O2. Not really my style either. Let's just go through them quickly and see if there's anything in particular we like. Okay, but can we talk about the quality of that preset right there? That's actually pretty good. Let's find something we like and then instantly the next preset is just so much much fun. Anyway, preset 4. Mark 5 and OD. What happens if I turn the vo value? Okay, the value changes preset as well. And the mode switches between these effects, DS amp, 
DS. Why do I keep saying DS? That's because I'm an audio engineer as well. So that's distortion, amp, cabinet, and noise gate, equalizer, modulation, delay, and reverb. That is what the mode does. The master volume, I said master volume, should be in there. Yeah, that's the master vol volume. How, can I press this? Or is it like... Oh, that's a volume pedal. But I suppose if I go into the expression function, how do I, uh, do I just press it again? No, mode, no, value. Okay, so I can get the expression. Oh, that's, oh, that's, uh, okay, let's see. Expression, value, and then I do what? Press up and down, no, expression, value, left, right, oh, I press it again, and then we go to the, let's go to, what do we want to control, position, level, modulation, yeah, let's do modulation, and let's make it, let's see, mix, why not, let's then go back, how do we go back, we go back like that, and then we press the, we go to the modulation, and then we select something. We have a lot of different, we have 19 different modulations. Uh, let's go with the flanger, right there. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. How does it work? I go to mix, pull that all the way up. Why is that not doing anything? Do I have to turn it on somehow? Is it, is it on now? How, how do I turn it on? How do I... Oh, it's not on. How do I, how do I turn it on? There we go, you press the mode button and then it's on. There we go. Okay, so that was a bit, that was a bit strange. And that's, that's still volume. Okay, so expression, value, modulation mix, modulation depth. No, still, how do I do that? So I press expression, now expression, value, volume, off, off, there we go, off. Okay, so now we go to expression, function, mod, mod right there, we go to the, let's go, raid, raid. I have no idea how that works. I'm sure it says so. It says how it works in the manual. Let's go back to some presets. Uh, the next preset, number five, a black knight. Oh, that's fun. played amps that sounds less than an amp than this. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so no, preset number six is called Ballad. There's some acoustic elements to that.
next preset is called CNC. Again with the delay, I'm not a huge fan of long delays. Uh, there's preset 8 called Tremolo. And that still does volume. Is there a quick way to just turn something off? Um, let's go to the modulation tremolo. And the delay as well. How does it sound without the cab emulation? Of course, horrible. Uh, how do we change that again? Value, there, there we go. How many do we have? We have, oh, you can even load in your own. Okay. So we have 26. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, what do we have? Let's see if we can get something that we, what we, that we know what is. Um, Let's go with the 1960. That's a Marshall cab. What amp is this? That's this one right here. Okay, so that is a JCM 800. JTM? JCM. Let's see, how do we change that? How do we change that? Oh, we have a Plexi 100. Honestly, this unit sounds pretty good. Next preset is called Attack. Next preset is called Wawa. Wah. Wonder what that is. Next preset is called Expression Game. Next preset is called 120 Chorus. I wonder what that is. That's not loud. That's funny. Next preset is called Take Off. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds great, but that's not a tone for me. Oh, that's... Oh, that died. Do we need that? We definitely need that. That's horrible. Why is this going so wrong? Next preset is called Pitch. I can already tell that's not for me. Five degrees. Next preset, Expression Wah. And for good reasons, it's on the table, so I won't be able to do this, <laughs> maybe. That's how that sounds. 
DS solo. Oh, that sounds good. Next preset is called DS Chorus. Oh wow. Distortion Chorus. Preset 19 DDD. Probably. Preset number 20 is called Lo-Fi. Let's go to, let's see how many presets are there. There's, there's 200 presets. Is there any way to do a new one? Probably. Let's just make a brand new one and let's call it a day. So uh, we go to the effects right here. Let me just turn pretty much everything off. What do we have left? We have delay and reverb. So this should just be a straight up DI signal. Sounds pretty DI to me. Let's start with adding a, a what is it called, an amp. Is that it? really it? So that's a tri -reg amp. Let's see what else is there. Can we get something Fender-esque? A blues something? US blues? And add a cabinet? Oh, that's funny. The blues 112. You can even choose which mic, which distance, tubes. All of those things. Wow, the Holly Benson, calm down. Okay, can I get some a little bit more volume out of this? I don't think I can. No. Gain? Doesn't really do a whole lot. Maybe it did. Um, noise gate, we're not needing that. Let's add a distortion. What do we want? What do we want? D drive, black rat, gray face. Metal, <laughs> metal zone, come on. Uh, full drive. I mean, I have a full drive somewhere. We probably need that noise gate now. Let's get the noise gate going. Is that it? It's even a good noise gate. Okay, and let's get, what should we get? A little analog delay. There we go. Again with the time. Let's get the time down to 400 because that is my preferred length of a delay. A little down with the level. I think that's pretty good. And last but not least, let's add a reverb. Do we have a spring in here? That is the question. Uh, we have a, yeah, there we go, a spring reverb. Honestly, I wouldn't be ashamed gigging with that. And I have a lot of equipment down here, but I wouldn't be ashamed gigging with that. Tell me you would be ashamed of gigging with that. 
tell me, tell me in the comment section down below because that is great. That actually sounds pretty, pretty, pretty good. The UI might take some time getting used to, but honestly, that sounds pretty good. How do I save this? I save that as that. How do I go back and forth? I go back and forth like that. Oh, see the UI. That's the UI is difficult. It's definitely going to take some time. Oh, I have to do it like that. Um, do I really? Can I get some big letters right here? R E. Let me get an E right there. S S right there. I saw it. I saw it. I'm going to save that. Hopefully I saved it. That is now the preset number one on this unit. I'm going to upload this and you should be able to find a link to this preset if you want it down in the comment section, not in the comment section, but in the description of this video. Um, I'm sorry that I don't want to go more in depth with this, uh, this unit. It is crazy, crazy versatile. I'll, I can say that already and I just barely scratched the surface, I'm sure. If you want to watch a video of me going in depth with this unit, uh, talk, we're talking like 50 minutes, an hour or so, uh, let me know in the comment section down below because I'm down to do that. But I just think I should get this video out and show you guys that this unit actually exists. Uh, I did hear a few people play it uh, on YouTube. And I just thought it sounded great, so I reached out to uh, to Benny at Harley Benton, and he was so kind to send me one uh, to do this review. I'm not getting paid to say any of these things. Um, I'm not getting paid at all. So let me know what you think about the DNA effects get from Harley Benton down in the comment section down below. And if you want me to make a long video, I will do that. And until next time, take care. Bye bye.